Hi there, so I'd like to talk to you now about core purpose. How do you find your core purpose? How do you use purpose in uh, developing your strategy? And uh, what difference can it make with your team and in scaling up your business? So that's what we're talking about today. Core purpose is the why of your business. It's the difference that you're making in the world. Uh, so a couple of great examples. There are some companies that have core purpose done um, down to uh, as little as one word. So in the case of uh, Starbucks, not everyone knows, but the purpose behind Starbucks uh, in, the, in the early days was to create an escape, a kind of a third place. So you had your home and you had your work, and then Starbucks was to be this uh, place to give you a way to get away from it all and to, to treat yourself. Uh, of course, many of us will know and recognize that Disney's purpose is creating happiness. And then a company like Medtronic, which makes things like insulin pumps and continuous glucose monitors and uh, different kinds of equipment for people with long-term uh, conditions like uh, type 1 diabetes, uh, Medtronic's equipment uh, is designed to restore them to a more natural way of living, which is why also you see the the rising uh, figure in their in their logo. So purpose is a very powerful thing, and this why of our work gets into and engages people beyond profit motivation. It inspires change in the organization and the world, and it helps us to deal with the obstacles that uh, that that we encounter along the way. Uh, if you've done purpose well, it should inspire your team to do their best work. If you think about it, uh, many of us and, and many of the people around us will uh, put in their good day's work and then throw all their heart and their passion into their volunteer job that they do after hours on the weekend. We want to bring some of that same passion and fulfillment into uh, scaling up your business and engaging the people. So at, it, at, at its core, purpose is the difference you're making in the world. Now, the interesting thing about it for many of us is that we don't often realize that purpose can transform our company and that there's a clear way to engage and speak purpose. So let's take one very simple example. Um, waste management um, was a company much like many other garbage companies, you know, just another garbage company. And when they took on uh, and declared, articulated, and implemented the purpose in the company of becoming an environmental solutions company. And that they were out to solve environmental problems in the world. Um, not only did that change the kind of work they did, but it changed their relationship to the communities they serve and to the employees that make up the team. So they started to get into things like composting and recycling and energy production and um, rapidly expanded all of the kind of work they did, the way they were connected with the team and the engagement of their employees, something that we could all use. So when we look at purpose, there are a couple different ways of doing it. If we're talking to a founder of a company, we could actually examine why did you get in this business? Or if you got into it in what feels like by accident, why did you stay in it? What parts of it motivate you? What aspects of it um, uh, give you passion fulfillment? Um, we want to ask for the company, why do we exist? So we can engage a conversation and look back and deeper and deeper into what difference we're actually making in the world and where do we do our best work, the kinds of things. We say that there are four big categories of uh, purpose. And one is good, true, beautiful, and the fourth is heroic. So let's look at a couple of examples of these. Um, so in the good category, things like the container store, whose purpose is to provide service to other people. Um, and in the case of a company like Google, to create um, truth and knowledge to make that widely available. Um, we can all tell if you are a follower at all of Apple products, just the passion around the refinement and the beauty of not only the hardware itself, but the execution, the whole experience that, that people go to. And if you're familiar with the micro lending um, organization, Grameen Bank, you'll know they, they want to um, change the world and in particular empower and, and bring people up out of poverty. Um, so a couple of things I find in working through purpose that, that are useful. So um, our personal purpose and our work purpose um, are things that will often connect and resonate. And when they do, there's a lot of power in the company. But there are things along the way that make it hard for us to find the purpose of our company and our personal purpose. And the first is 
uh, we feel like we have to find it, like it's somewhere outside of ourself. And, uh, and then we really want to get it right. We don't want to blow this one because it's so big and so important. And then finally, because of those two things, we're uncomfortable or afraid to fully commit to it, embrace it, and communicate it out. So with regard to each of those things, first of all, um, the purpose is something that is really created. It's not something to go discover. You don't need to go off on an eat, pray, love journey and do all that kind of looking for something inspiration outside. It's actually something to look kind of inward in it, the work that you already do, and then actually make it up. Um, and then the second part is about getting it right. So there's really only one uh, test to whether or not you've got purpose right, and that is, does it inspire or excite you? So if it inspires and excites you, you've got it right. And, th and the last one is uh, committing to it. So look, if you made it up and if it came from you and you find that it no longer works, you can change it. So there's, you should not be afraid to commit to a purpose and start to use it and it, communicate it because you can change it. And you can say, hey, we looked and we've revised it because we find this is more compelling. So the work that we want to do in purpose is either to go as a founder and consider how you got into it and what matters to you, or to work in uh, pairs and ask yourself, uh, using the worksheet that we've got here and that you can download, um, what do you do as a company and why does that matter? And then ask them why that's important and what matters about that and why is that important? And just kind of keep probing that back. And at some point you get to like, hey, it just matters. It makes the world a better place. It saves the world. And something usually like one step back from that is your purpose. So um, our purpose as a company is helping leaders build a better world. And it connects to my personal purpose of making a difference in the world. And some of our clients have done things like um, keep people working. And uh, one came up with keep the world working. And um, others have thought about freeing people up to do what they most love. And um, so there are a lot of different purposes, a delight and in, in entertain and make lives, uh, make people's lives richer. These are a variety of things that people have said in their purpose. And when, when it really is you, um, you'll do that. So ask yourself, what do you do? And then why does that matter? And kind of keep peeling that back. And I find it's best to work with one other person. So ask back and forth. And remember, when you're the person listening or asking, the way that you listen is very powerful um, and makes the biggest difference in doing this kind of exercise. So that's the work there is to do. And then we want to just tighten it into something clear and succinct that we can communicate out with people. We're looking for that piece, that thing that matters to you, where you've got some emotion. Maybe you feel a little silly saying it, or you're excited saying it, or um, it's, it's like that kind of a thing. So that's purpose, and that's the work there is to do. So go to work now. Mm -hmm.